Welcome to another session of the lab. In today's session, we will investigate the effect of the wireless channel on the communication signal. As usual, before we start, we will do the quick uh, transmission and reception uh, parameters on the devices, and then we will start. So we, as usual, will use 2913 megahertz. At minus 30 dBm. In the modulation, we will use the um, single carrier. First of all, we will do the modulation on single carrier with QPSK. Uh, Road Nyquist with 0.3. and the symbol rate of 20 kilo symbols per second so now we can start the transmission again at the receiver we will set the center frequency 913 megahertz And keep adjusting the span. This, this is it. We can go to the demodulation domain. With two times three grid. Let's do the demodulation setups. Uh, with QPSK. Center kilohertz zero point three alpha. Now we're good. Now here we can do the can put a time signal here. Let's put a time signal. Here we put a spectrum. Let's put a polar diagram, and here we're going to put the constellation diagrams. Now in part A we will investigate the effect of the path loss on the system. Uh, from the signal that we are transmitting we will uh, try to receive it from different distances so we will be increasing the distance of separation between the transmitter and receiver as specified in the manual here and we will record the, the received power at each of these distances and then we will uh, plot a graph to see the, the relationship. And then we will repeat this for another frequency, which is higher compared to the first one. And we will do the same thing, and then we will compare the, the received signal power based on the distance of separations and as well as on the, on the, the frequency, the operational frequency. 
Um, so uh, in order to do this one, I will connect the, the receiving antenna by using a cable. So I will fix the, the position of the transmitting antenna and the, uh, I will collect uh, I will connect uh, the receiving antenna by a cable so that I can easily change the, the distance without moving the equipment itself. Uh, having said that, I will do this for only two uh, for this first part for only two distances just to give you an idea how to do it and then you will uh, when you are implementing this in the lab you will have to do the to take all the measurements uh, as required in the manual so uh, this will be our first measurement that we we have already done the, the setup I will consider this as a first uh, uh, as I'll consider this as our, our first measurement at the first distance so I will record the power the EVM and also uh, I will save the, the screenshot of the of this measurements and now I will go and increase the distance by like one meter and then we'll come back and see uh, the what will be the the, the the changes on the figures that we are observing right now So I have increased the the distance of separation between the transmitter and the receiver, and you can see now uh, we are having a noisy constellations, and the received power has been you know uh, changed, reduced drastically. Even the EVM has increased too much. So you will repeat this for different distances and take the recordings as I have already mentioned, so that you can make the comments on your report. In the next section, we will uh, observe the relationship between the transmission bandwidth and the coherence bandwidth of the channel. We already know that uh, if the transmission bandwidth exceeds the uh, channel bandwidth, I mean the coherence bandwidth of the channel, uh, we will suffer from the uh, frequency selectivity. So we will do that uh, by changing the symbol rate. When we change the symbol rate, that means we are changing the bandwidth of the, the signal that we are transmitting and we will try to, to observe when we will start seeing the, the frequency selectivity. So to do that, we will start with, we will begin with the 20 kilo symbol per second that we already know. First of all, I will set the transmission power at a uh, high power so that we can, we don't have to deal with the effect of the noise. So I'll make that zero. And I will go to the modulation format set up and um, so we begin with the 20 kilo symbol per second as we want and we are already transmitting so this is what we are receiving and to be able to see to see the 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 effect of the frequency selectivity on the spectrum is better if we observe this thing from the vector mode so that we can do the averaging so we are already having averaging here so let's go to the VSG and change the symbol rate now we will change to 1 megahertz so I click symbol rate make it 1 megahertz so now we need to change our span so that we, are, we can be able to receive it at the right uh, sampling frequency So still, as you can see, the spectrum is flat. So we are, we are still not having any uh, frequency selectivity at this point. So let's increase it further and see. Now let, let's make it 10 megahertz. Again, we need to increase the span. So I was reducing it. Let's make it 20 percent. Now you can see we start having the the selectivity. Now the spectrum that we are receiving is no longer flat. You can see here, you know, this part, for example, 
is affected differently from this part by the channel. So this is what we are calling frequency selectivity. That means different part of the spectrum are affected differently by the channel, such that the spectrum is no longer flat. So if we go to the demodulation domain, we can we can see the the this effect from different tools. We need to change the symbol rate, which is now ten megahertz. So we need to increase this pan again. So you can see now the even though, even though we don't have any noise, the the constellations are different from they are not even no longer in the single point. They are kind of having a different shapes now. Even the eye diagrams are not clear. We don't have any noise, but you can see here. It's no longer a single point as we used to see, so this shows that we are having some ISI in our system. You can easily see also from the eye di from the polar diagram and the and the, and the, the, the coordinate I mean the constellation diagram they are showing pretty much the same thing. So in this case, uh, we can easily see the effect of uh, frequency selectivity by using different tools and how. It different tools are being affected by this uh, effect so if you want we can also increase the symbol rate further and see if we have more changes or not so let's make it 20 now that means we need to increase this one as well let's so make it 40 and we need to change symbol right here so you can see from 10 uh, from 10 megahertz on we will keep having this problem as we keep increasing the bandwidth of the CBC now I have a better clear view let's go to the vector mode again you can see the problem is still there so you will do this for the values specified in the manual and it will take both uh, uh, the spectrum in the vector mode and also it will take the, the other tools that we, we have mentioned here for, for your record on your, on your report.